Welcome everyone to this new video tutorial. We have seen in the previous video how to detect features and descriptors of an object. We are going to see now how to compare the features of two images. So for example, if we have this image the, that you see on the screen, the cover of the book, and like a picture of me, which I have as well, which is this one, So it is the same book, but of course it looks different. There is different rotation, the color is different because one is a printed book, the other one is just the cover from internet. There is different perspective, different lightening, different size, and different colors also. You can see this one it's really clear, this one is a bit dark. But what are we going to see? We're, uh, we're going to detect the feature of this cover and the feature all the features of this image then we're going to compare them and see if we find some match so let's run the code let's actually type the code we import cv2 import numpy as np we load the first image cv2.im read the underscore book underscore thief dot jpg and we load it in grayscale format cv dot im read grayscale and you can download this image from the link that i put in the description or even better you can use your own images and again now second image cv2 dot im read uh, i don't remember the title okay me holding book me holding book.jpg cv2.im im read grayscale let's show both images cv2.im show img1 img1 and cv2.im show img2 and img2 cv2.wait key 0 and cv2 dot destroy all windows let's run the code and see if everything is correct and it, it is so first thing first thing we need to detect the features and the descriptors and you know you should already know how to do that we have we can use three methods the sift the surf and obr now we're going to use OBR. OBR detector. So let's load the detector. Uh, let's load the create the object OBR. It's equals to CV2 dot OBO. Not OBR, sorry, ORB. ORB. ORB c2.orb underscore create once we we have created the detector we can detect key points and descriptors of both images so first the first image the script so key points one and descriptors one is equals to orb dot detect and compute img1 we don't have any mask so none key points 2 is the same as we've done before descriptors 2 is equals to orb dot detect and compute img2 none So let's see what are these descriptors. Let's print them. Actually, let's uh, let's do this way for D in descriptors one. Let's print D. Uh, 
Okay. So as you can see, a descriptor is an array of numbers. And these numbers are going somehow to describe, to define the feature. So we have many descriptors. So for each feature found, we have a descriptor. And this is for the first image and the same we have for the second image. How can we compare the features? Of course, as I said, you cannot compare pixel by pixel because it can be different because of the lightning, of the rotation, of the perspective and so many other things. So the descriptors somehow define the features independent of lightning, rotation, sizing and so on. And we're going to compare descriptors 1 with descriptors 2 and the most similar one would be a match of the feature. So for this we have a method which is called brute force brute force matching matching so the brute force what is what is it going to do? It's going to compare the first one each descriptor of the of the first image with all the descriptors of the second image. The closest one are going to be considered as a match. So first let's create the object which is bf equals to cv2 dot bf matcher. We can pass more parameters. In this case we can pass two of them. We have the norm type. Uh, norm, let's see them if uh, norm, okay. We have different norm types and the usage usage of this depends on which detector you're using. Usually when you use ORB detector, we're always going to use norm humming. And there is another one cross check equals true. So cross check usually is uh, by default is false. A cross check is going to define uh, actually if you have only one match. Uh, I didn't say it properly uh, because when you compare the features, so this first one is going to be compared with all the others of the of the second image. If you put cross check true is going to take only the best match if cross check is false it's going to take more features so usually it's it's good practice to use cross check true it will we will have better features better less but better matching otherwise we can get some many false so let's now make the code find the matches matches is equals to cv2 dot no uh, sorry bf root force dot match of the descriptors one and descriptor two what is the result uh, i'm going to show you the result first let's see how many matches we found print length of the matches Two hundred and seventeen matches, and four M in matches, M dot. We're going to print M dot distance. So each M is an object with. It contains few information. What we are interested now is just to see the distance. So let's print the distance. 
and here we have many numbers so when the features the descriptor are, are compared between them the brute force matches matcher gives us this result the smaller is the distance the better is the match so so for example this 151 it's actually let's find a smaller one this one 33 it's almost sure to be a good match for example it can be that let's see an example it can be this T, this part here that was correctly detected with this here other things can be for example this if there is some feature here can be any can be anywhere here because it's really similar so it is not clear which match is so it's the higher will, will be number uh, higher so what we want to do we want to say to take only the first first we want to take the best matches so we're going to put them in order from the smallest to the highest so we're going to say matches is equals to sorted we're going to sort matches he equals lambda x x dot distance so this is a quick way to sort the matches by distance and let's print them again and you can see that at the last we have the those with the highest number at the beginning those with the lowest number now that we have all the matches we can draw them so we can we're going to create a new image uh, let's call it matching result is equals to cv2 dot draw matches first emg1 then key point one then emg2 key points two then the matches known and for the moment is okay then we will adjust something uh, I forgot to show I forgot to show the result actually cv2 im show uh, matching result so matching result um, no matches uh, matching result okay okay they are too many and many of them are wrong so let's let's take only the first two 20 matches uh, from 0 to 20 so that's why we put in order from the smallest number to the highest so that now we're going to get only the best 20 of them if it was not in order we will get some just random 20 around 20 random but now we're going to get only the best and so you can see that we have pretty decent result this bottom part of the f is detected correctly this skeleton also detected correctly on this part of the skeleton and all this letter of the book you can see that from here from the b to the b
we can do something for example now we are showing also the the detection of the feature you can see here these small circles we can hide that adding flags equals two it is going to hide to hide and we can show more features let's say the first 50 matching result and this is in general how you can get matching between two images we can also use different detector instead of ORB you can use SIFT on SERF we're not going to see that now and also keep in mind that this operation takes a lot of computational power for the CPU so it's okay it's fine to compare two images but this method is definitely not good to work on real-time video because it will take too much power and the computer cannot process it so to do that we there are other methods other algorithms and we're going to see them in some next videos and for the moment thanks for watching